And while the city struggles to understand, we think it is even more important to remember the people whose lives were forever altered. The 10 who died, the 16 who were injured, the first responders, and the Good Samaritans who stopped to help amidst all the horror that day. I held her hand and tried to reassure her that everything was going to be okay. And it seemed like eternity for the paramedics to get there. They finally came, and uh, it was just chaos. Unfortunately, the first name I heard today was hers passing away. And I was hopeful that she was going to survive. Rob Greco stopped to help Anne Marie D'Amico, holding her hand as she lay dying. He didn't want her to be alone. And since then, Rob Greco has suffered from PTSD. He's been afraid to leave his home and has had suicidal thoughts. But today we can give you a positive update. Rob is finally starting to heal. And here's why. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You got a puppy. Yeah. Something to curve uh, the other thoughts and uh, just focus on something a little more positive. She's brought a lot of joy to my life right now. And, the and first joy in a long time? The first joy in a long time. So the last time I saw you, you told me that you slept a lot. You didn't want to get out of bed. You yeah. didn't want to face the world. You were afraid to go out. Yeah. In the last three weeks since you got this puppy, has that, those, have those feelings diminished? They have. Um, I, I like taking her out yeah. and watching what she does. She was a rescue. Um, from Texas Chihuahua Rescue, and I don't know who rescued who now, uh, because honestly, Maybe I think she's rescuing you. Yeah, I I think that she's rescuing me now. Was it love at first sight? Oh my God! I bawled my eyes out when I knew that I was having her. I know you've watched a bit of the video. I, that I did came watch out a bit today. of it. What are your thoughts on that? It's uh, pretty disturbing. Um, after watching that this morning, part of it anyway, I refused to watch all of it. I couldn't believe uh, the things that he said. Yeah. I couldn't believe that he was so confident and, and comfortable in, in the things that he was saying. It brought me back to a dark place again, obviously, and uh, I've had anxiety all day. My life has never been the same. Rob has kept in touch with Anne-Marie D'Amico's family. He was a pallbearer at her funeral. Despite the trauma he has suffered, he says he would stop and help her again, even knowing what the consequences would be.